Hello, I've returned today with another ADH Wealth Solution. Today, we will begin to discuss all of your financial needs. In this video, we will review an article relating to juvenile life insurance. As always, this is a basic description. For an evaluation of your own, please schedule an appointment. My information is in the description box. Lastly, make sure you like, share, comment, and if you're new, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. Life insurance for a newborn baby. A February 28, 2021 article by Greg DePerzio. The primary function of life insurance is to protect and provide for dependents in the event of a head of household's death. Consequently, it seems to make little sense to take out a large life insurance policy on a newborn. No one depends on babies financially. However, buying a smaller policy for a baby can offer advantages in certain situations, such as providing for burial expenses in the event of a worst case scenario. How life insurance works. First, a quick insurance primer. A life insurance policy pays a sum of money to a named beneficiary if the insured dies while the policy is in force. The owner of the policy pays a premium for it, usually monthly, to keep it active. Two main types of life insurance are term life insurance and whole life insurance. Term life insurance pays only if the insured dies within the defined term, such as 10, 20, or 30 years. If the insured outlives the term, the policy expires without paying, or in some cases, the owner can convert it into a whole life policy. A whole life policy stays in force as long as the premiums are paid. Because most term life policies never pay a death benefit, the premiums are much cheaper than for whole life policies, which always pay out eventually, unless the policy owner lets them lapse. For example, a 30-year-old male non-smoker in Florida can obtain a $100,000 term life policy covering a term of 20 years for about $10 a month. A whole life policy with the same death benefit will cost them about $50 a month or more. With while term life insurance offers the most protection for the lowest costs, some people gravitate to whole life insurance because it doubles as an investment vehicle. A portion of each premium payment goes into an account that grows with interest over time. The amount of money in this account is known as the policy's cash value. The policy owner can borrow against this money or even redeem their policy for it, effectively forgoing the death benefit. Babies and life insurance. At first glance, insurance on infants seems counterintuitive. Life insurance is to compensate for the loss of a breadwinner, not a baby. Household financial experts recommend buying enough life insurance to see dependent children through to adulthood. For example, a person making $100,000 a year whose youngest child is 10 years old, needs at least $800,000 in life insurance to provide until that child is 18. Because babies do not earn incomes, no one depends on them for a living. While parents losing a child is tragic, it has few financial repercussions. A family does not face a loss of income from the baby. For this reason, one could argue that buying a life insurance policy, even a relatively, relatively cheap term policy, on an infant's life is unnecessary and a waste of money that could be put towards more useful expenses such as saving for college, when life insurance for babies makes sense. However, a couple of strong arguments do exist for buying at least a small life insurance policy for a newborn. The first is having money available in case the absolute worst does happen and the child dies young. Death is expensive, to quote playwright Tennessee Williams, and keeps getting more so each year. As of 2019, burial procedures and expenses typically range between seven and 12,000. The average funeral costs around $9,000 today, up significantly from about $6,000 at the turn of the 21st century. The death benefit from a child's life insurance policy could cover those sad costs.
In case of a long-term illness, it could also compensate parents for medical expenses disallowed by health insurance, helping them avoid some burdensome debts. In addition, life insurance is less expensive the younger the insured is. Some parents prefer to lock in a low premium so that the baby has inexpensive coverage for him or herself when they become an adult. To augment an existing policy is often more economical than buying a whole new one. In addition, many adult life policies offer child riders for only a few dollars a month. If buying the protection will bring a little peace of mind, why not? Even if it's the sort of claim no parent ever wants to have to cash in on. Life insurance is designed for those that you love and for you in mind. Protecting those you love doesn't have to be difficult with a tailored life insurance plan. I can make it easy to find a plan that fits your lifestyle. And to apply, it can take just minutes. What's more, I can offer you coverage options ranging from 50000 to $3 million, and we can ensure that we'll definitely be able to find a plan that helps by identifying and protecting your lifestyle. Let's get the ball rolling by contacting me today. My information is in the description box.